So we're going to look at the data source method. So just like we did in the demonstration in the first part for the master view controller. So first we're going to indicate the number of items that we have in that section. So that's going to be the count for more photos, which is a hundred total. And then we're going to configure the cell. So we're going to have this content constant. That's going to be cell for DQ reusable cell with reuse identifier cell. So that's going to be the same as for the master view controller. We're going to have this cell. So we're going to click on it and then expand the attribute inspector. And you can see that we have this cell identifier. There you go. We're going to go back to the collection view controller and continue with these methods. Then we create this constant, which is going to be photo. And that's going to be the equivalent of, so the that's going to refer to the string object that we have in the array more photos at the index position of the index path row. So we have a hundred total. So this method is going to take care of looping through the hundred objects that we have in that array and then return it, assign it to wherever we want, which is going to be the image name of that UI image functions that we're going to assign to the image property of the picture outlet that we have on our custom cell. So we have also a custom cell for the collection view. So that's going to be one single picture. And you're going to see that again, backed in main storyboard. If we click, we're going to see that picture outlet. So this is how we're going to display the image for this collection view controller. So we're going to build and run. And you're going to be able to see that now we have a collection of 100 image for each category. So we're going to select one category. And here you go, we have our pictures. So it doesn't do anything when we tap on it for now. What we're going to be doing next is taking care of the custom animated transition. So I'm going to introduce you to the, to the file, the class animator. That's going to be next.